Hi everyone and welcome to Stephanie Reacts to Ruby. Well, this chapter, volume 3, chapter 2, is frustrating. I've been trying to edit it for two weeks. Every time I edit it, it keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. When I upload it to YouTube, it comes up copyright. I edit the copyright out, then I upload it again, it comes up copyright more. Why does it not just give me a list of all the copyright stuff in the whole episode and stick them out at once? Say the copyright here, copyright there, copyright there, every single edit. So I'm putting this before you actually see the reaction. There will be maybe like one or two or maybe five minutes at the most, I don't know how much reaction will be but I'm actually very 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 sorry for all this there was actually 21 minutes there was like 15 minutes of reaction and 5 minutes of me talking about the episode so I don't know how much of the episode you're going to see in this so I say I'm very sorry about this just hoping chapter 3 is not lit like this as you have saw Chapter 1 was an alright, uh, maybe one edit out that, and that was brilliant, it was. I got nearly, half or nearly the full episode on that, just out of one edit. But like I say, this one's got about six or maybe a wee bit more edits. So, oh, it's tough to edit this. It is. Oh. So here's hoping. It works very soon for me. So let's get this started. I'm guessing I've already got it working. I'm putting this at the very front. And you've seen this. So let's go. Hey everyone. And welcome to Stephanie Reacts to Ruby 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 Ah, well, at least I tried <laughs> Well, this will be Ruby Volume 3 Episode 2 New Challengers So, we saw the competition start last episode we had And that was amazing So I'm going to jump right into this and see what other battles we get and if any of the Ruby team gets kicked out because I know it's got to be 4 then 2 then 1 I think it is I doubt it goes to 4, 3, 2, 1 I think it's just 4, 2, then 1 goes to teams are uh, I wonder what 2 when it goes to the 2 teams who they get to pick between the 4 of them so let's jump into it and find out When? Guys, we went over this! Flower powers Ren and Nora. Ren brings the flower, Nora brings the power. How do I bring a flower? No, silly, not a flower. Flower, like in baking. Why would I bring I, that? Uh, no, it's your symbol. So, what are we? Pira! Sorry, I just want to make sure it's clearly defined. Pira, you and I are Arcos. It's that thing where we take our shields, remember? Arcos? Yeah! It's our names put together. Right, no, I get it. What, do you not like it? No, no, it's good. Ooh, I sense hesitation. Hey! Huh? Hmm? What, do what do you think you're doing? doing? Trying to have a team meeting, thank you very little. Yeah! Team ears only! We're in the middle of a fight! And we're in the middle of a conversation! What don't you get about that? Man. Ah, 
some well vacuo fans are sure to be hurting after that one. But this next round will have them on the edge of their seats. Team Indigo of Shade is certainly a crowd favorite, but these lovely ladies are going against some of the toughest, testosterone-filled teammates we've seen so far. I'm, of course, talking about Team Sun! Sun Wukong and his team are certainly a force to be reckoned with. And although he'll be representing the Mistral Academy of Haven, I'm sure his friends and family back in Vacuo will be cheering him along. Good luck, Neptune! Ladies. All right, girls. Try and remember. Hands. That was a mess. Come on, man. You didn't like them? The Veil Kids? Or any of the rounds before that? What fight are you here for? That one. Ooh. Happy Vital Festival. Gee darn it. Oh, that was so close. Looks like the dirt's made it to the next round. Emphasis on dork. That concludes the matches for today. Please leave the Coliseum and make all an orderly fashion. Come on, let's go congratulate him. That was New Challengers. That was a good episode, it was. We saw four teams battle Team Juniper and Team Brintz. Oh, but I say that word right. Team Brintz. But, yeah, if I never, I'm sorry for never pronouncing it right. Because, as you know, I'm not good with names or pronunciations and stuff. But, as we saw with this one, it was actually Nora who I thought was Penny at the start. Same kind of hair colour. So I just wanted a Penny, but then of course no Penny. Penny's the robot lassie. That was Nora, it was. <laughs> but I don't know if we saw in other volumes or not where Nora had electricity power. All the guys can charge things. If we did, my bad for forgetting. But, we saw when she got stabbed and anything, she stabbed, but the, the weapon put here, she was charging up electricity. I thought it was, the other team was doing it to her. But, she ended up she was doing it to them and she fired them away. Then, a storm cloud was happening or something, on top of the mountain or that. She climbed that, started charging her hammer again. And I said it was like Thor kind of thing. And she fired a big, like, a big giant love heart come out of it. They crashed into the ground. And that was a brilliant it was how they all done that. I'm guessing this is like the challengers for every single team they've got in this whole contest. See if you can work as a team or not. Because we're practicing as a team, yes. That'll help me. But this is the big uh, big You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the big test. See if you can get along with each other in hard times, like fighting people you don't know and what the fighting techniques are and stuff. So yeah, then we saw me look it was Team Sun versus Team Indigo. It was and oh Neptune. Nick is doing us Neptune in the mythical region is the king of the underwater, but this Neptune is afraid of water. What kind of person would call their child Neptune and they're afraid of water? And I'm must have happened to him as a child. He must have liked water when he was younger. They called him Neptune because of that. Then something happened to him, like a fish bottom or something, or nearly drowned. And since then he's been afraid of water, I'm guessing. 
But Cassie is just ironic about it. And your team will actually lose in Coseum. I've seen up this mountain. I'll look after this place. You saw what we did here. Did nothing. And most of these teammates were getting put out. But at the last minute, the boys and the girls were in, team had to go over in the water. I thought they were going to start like a whirlpool or a, the water tornado thing. They were getting started with their, their techniques. And they had to put his sword thingy or his staff in the water and they educated them and won. So that was brilliant. How he, how I thought he was going to lose the team. So I apologise, I was wrong with that aspect of us. Oh. So everyone, thanks for watching this reaction. <laughs> and I'll see you again for it's bro and the family. I'm guessing that's maybe Yang and Ruby. Or maybe be your wife with her family and stuff. Or maybe could it be that spaceship we saw flying ready to land? Could that be a family? of new fighters, maybe they've come here to join the brawl, join the challengers, I don't know, we'll see that in the next episode, until then, have a great week everyone, bye.